Question three. What have you learnt from your audience feedback? Thanks to audience feedback, I have picked up on a few minor details about the music video and Digipack, which helped me to re-evaluate and understand more about how people specifically react to my work. It was important to receive some audience feedback during pre-production with certain elements I was unsure of. This included feedback from factors such as clothing, duration and context. The most important response I got back from the audience was the context. I asked if I should have shots of the stars singing the song in an isolated location. The feedback was interesting as the majority fed back that I shouldn't have them singing and that it should all just be travelling. My ideas had changed and I planned around this idea briefly until I looked back at the research and how their music videos were done, including ones already made by my stars. They did include shots set in the studio-like space where they would sing the song. So based on this and the fact that I was restricted for time, I still incorporated footage of the two stars singing the song to reflect the professional work. The feedback I got after the music video and Digipack was more interesting, as I shared it among several different groups. I shared it with friends online, friends in school, and friends from the British Film Institute. It was interesting to receive feedback from many different communities, as it gave me a variety of constructive criticism from different fields of work. The people I work with from Mattel were very impressed by the video for the most part, and left some interesting comments that explained why they enjoyed it. The shots really had a great sense of continuity and the cutting between the live performance and the exploring was very well done. There were only small bits of blippiness from the stabilization tool that I noticed and I can tell you I have been there too many times. Even though the song is somber, the smiles from the actors really perked me up. It made the departure more of a fact of life and much easier to accept. I was able to take a lot from this. In all seriousness, It's not just what was sung that conveyed the message, but the craftsmanship and visual storytelling as well. Friends closer to home also had a variety of comments. Because they knew me more in person, they were more aware of any limitations I had, and also knew how much I was capable of in the time frame that I had. As well as I really like your use of Photoshop, um, because I think that it actually makes it look really realistic on the um, Take Me With You uh, front cover. I think that's really effective and I like the consistent use of the uh, ocean and I like that you've kept with the same font which keeps it uh, also tying in with each other. Uh, However, on the poster there is a slight contrast and difference between the title and the uh, subheadings throughout because it makes it look not as together and uh, Katie Hawkins and Harry Gardner um, names are more pixeled than the rest and it loses its continuity a bit but other than that it's really good. They're wearing different clothes but I do see micro aspects film studies (laughs) that he has blue shoes and she has like a blue upper half so maybe it's like they're two half of one (laughs) (laughs) Point. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, that's just actually a really. I've never noticed that. Exactly. Film studies. A star. And again, with the font, it just feels like you stuck it on. But I feel like with this time, it works a bit more with the interior of the album rather than the front cover and the poster. But then again, it is very like dark, and you can barely see them. But I guess that adds with the like mellow tone to the video. I think both of them work together quite well. I like the consistent use of the ocean theme. I felt that worked really well and it was probably the best aspect of the music video. And because you've chosen, I think, an ocean picture as opposed to a forest picture on the cover and the poster, I think that works really well. I think it's good that you've used both of them in each um, in each part of the digipack because of course the song is very much about both of them together. For the most part, the reception to my product was positive and people were generally pleased with the quality of my music video and digipack. Interesting criticisms to note were about certain continuity factors in my music video, as some people picked up on the subtle details in the actor's clothing that could link to the theme of travelling together. Because I didn't utilise this element strongly, it's arguably inconsistent. Another criticism I received was about the poster, and how the difference in font for the names of the stars is more distracting than I thought it would be. I am generally pleased with the feedback I have received and will use these comments to continue my motivation in the field of filmmaking. I have learned about how different communities react to the same work and how these two different communities' differences can lead to differing opinions.